So I decided to pull this baby out the closet today. I was inspired by my morning YouTube viewing. So how I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna put the short end on the top and the uh, notches are gonna sit to my left. That's how I know I have it on right. And I plan on wearing this throughout the rest of my day while at work and doing all my other activities for the day. So if you wanna know what I'm up to, just stay tuned for the rest of the video. crownies welcome back to crown life chronicles i'm essence and it is saturday i did not record a vlog yesterday because i was so busy working on stuff for my website um i didn't you know usually i record on my way to work i don't know why i didn't record on my way to work i was doing something i don't know what i was doing but i didn't record on my way to work and i didn't record when i got to work like I said because I was just really busy and before I knew it time got away from me I was like oh maybe I'll record when I get off of work but then it was dark I was like you're not gonna be able to see me in the car blah 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 excuse 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 I know but anyway it happened gonna do my best not to have it happen again and they just blocked up god damn it y'all blocked off both roads these people be out of control with these block parties and be like 10 people for a whole block door street there don't even be nobody out there. But, um, oh, they got people out there. I'm about to go to their block. But really? Y'all even got the alleyway blocked off? This is crazy. I did all that screaming. Oh, that wasn't even my turn. <laughs> um, anybody know where I can download little sound effects from? Because the ones that are in my editor suck ass. Like, they're not even sound effects. I don't even know why they even offered them. They, they're... Okay, so my video got interrupted by a phone call as usual. One of these days, I will learn to start putting this thing on block. So, I came back on, I started recording again, and then my phone ran out of storage. So, it stopped the video again, and then I ended up at work. Sorry, I feel like I'm so high. Then I ended up at work. And I was going to go ahead and record inside, but I was like, you know what? I feel more comfortable recording in my car. Sometimes my neighbor could be, I mean, not my neighbor. She could be a little, a little pain in my butt. And I just didn't feel like that this morning. I'm like, let me go back to my car and finish the recording where I can be loud. I can talk about what I want. And sometimes I get subconscious recording around people. So, you know, this is just more comfortable to me. Ooh, and even though it's hot, hold on. I got to turn my car. All right. So, yeah, I had to turn the turn the air conditioner on so I have no idea what I was saying in the first video not a dang clue but um <clears throat> first thing I wanted to talk about I am my business coach is always telling us that we need to have multiple platforms in order to reach our target audiences so if you do not know by now um, I have a skincare and okay I have a store called crown essence link is in the description box where I specialize in handmade skincare products, skin and body care products. Um, they're interchangeable with hair, so it's skin, body, and hair. I also offer hair extensions, uh, you know, raw hair and virgin hair, which if you want to know the differences between those two, did I do a video about those? I don't know if I did a video about them, but I'll do another video explaining the differences between raw and virgin hair extensions. So um, I kind of... The, the end goal for it, I want it to be like a um, one-stop shop. Basically, a black-owned beauty supply store. But I don't want to have all the beauty supply store products. But anyway, I digress. And then I'm also a licensed realtor in currently one state, soon to be three states. So I got a couple of different things going on. On top of that, I have YouTube. So I have a lot of different reasons to build up different audiences. So, um, one of the platforms that I have is Periscope, which if you don't know what Periscope is, Periscope is a live streaming platform, which I like the idea of Periscope. 
I, I like watching people on Periscope. I just don't like being on Periscope because I don't be knowing what to talk about. Y'all already see I'm boring as I don't know what. I don't be having nothing to do. You know, I don't, I don't do much in my day to day. So I'm like, what am I going to talk about? What are people going to watch me do all day? I have no idea. Um, but one of the things that I've been wanting to do is start having brunches with my friends, whatever little friends I do have. <laughs> I've been wanting to start having brunches even if it's just for myself like I just really picture like picture waking up in the morning hold on picture waking up in the morning of course if it's gonna be brunch maybe it'll be breakfast or maybe it'll be brunch and breakfast I like the idea of brunch but the only thing is brunch is kind of late in the day to be eaten so I haven't figured out that part yet but I like the idea of brunch and I like the idea of having a mimosa oh my god what did I cut myself on I like the idea of having a mimosa, of having, you know, my food sitting on a nice balcony with the mornings or mid-afternoon sun coming through the window. Like, that's my whole picture. So I'm like, you know what? I want to start doing brunches. And then I was like, oh, I can start being live during my brunches, right? Like, that'll be something I can either come on and already have food done and just be talking and, like, have morning brunch with me. Or it can be morning brunch where I'm showing you how I'm making my brunch. Because uh, I'm also, if you don't know, attempting. I'm doing my best. Not it's being difficult, but I'm doing my best to go back to a clean pescatarian um, eating habit. Which, if uh, clean is, well, clean eating just eating better foods reading your labels or eating non-packaged foods really that's probably the short version of it and the pescatarian is all seafood products so that's that's my goal see what i'm talking about nobody usually calls me every time i want to do a video everybody want to call me but what was I saying? I was talking about the clean eating pescatarian thing. Okay, blah, blah, got, out, got that out the way. So I was looking up recipes last night, coming across a bunch of recipes that I was saving to my phone. Then I came across this thing called Clean 30. Wait, Clean 30? Complete 30? Damn, I forgot that fast. It might have, hmm. It might have been clean. I don't know. I'm thinking the name and I'm gonna put the link in the bio for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all the information about it down in the description box and basically you take everything out of your diet this is something similar to like if you're uh, doing allergy testing it's allergy testing for your body for your digestive system all that stuff so basically you take everything out of your diet you start at the basics and then you work your way back up to see what your body responds to what it doesn't respond to what it likes what it doesn't like and why does it look like my screen is about to time out why did my screen just get so dark i don't know so I really was looking at that and I was like, oh, this sounds good. And I was looking at some of the recipes that they had posted and I was like, this looks like pretty much the way that I eat. Now I eat bad, but when I eat good, this is the way that I eat when I eat good. It looks like it. So it didn't look like it was going to be too difficult. There are some things like no sugar, which I don't know how the hell I'm going to eat my oatmeal with no sugar. Like no honey, no agave nectar, no none of that. I'm going to put it all down in the description box. I'm not about to sit here and describe all that right now. And then, um, then I thought about it. I was like, wait, I just gained all this beautiful, sexy weight. I don't want to lose this weight. What the hell? How am I going to do this without losing weight? Went, Google some more, and came across an article they posted about how to not lose your muscle mass and your weight. Now, my weight isn't exactly muscle mass anymore. I think it's some fat. I think it's some fat, but it's that good black girl fat, that black girl magic fat. But it did give they did write an article on how to maintain keep your weight and even gain weight while doing this um this little 30 day thing like one of the things they said was <clears throat> eating starch eating starchy uh, vegetables and like potatoes and things like that that's stuff that i don't eat currently i don't eat potatoes i, I don't eat starch you know aside from when i have my cravings for my rice those are things that i stay away from but for this particular challenge those are the things that i will eat not rice but like starchy vegetables, those potatoes, winter squash. I don't even know what winter squash is. I guess I'll figure it out. So that was last night. So I'm really excited. I want to start that. I'm going to make that a 30 day challenge. And that is going to be, I have to wait until I'm more, I have to wait until I'm settled for that because that requires meal prepping, meal planning, and you know, the, the time to do it. And right now is not the time. It's not going to happen if I try to do it right now when I'm in the midst of all this moving. 
So that is going to be a coming challenge. If you are going to be interested in joining that challenge with me, please leave a comment down below and say I'm in or something like that. Let me know that you in. Let me know who's going to do this with me. And I really would love to know what vegetables this guy's growing. I can't figure it out and he don't speak no English to tell me. I love vegetable gardens, y'all. I love it. I can't wait to have my own house with land. There's so many things that I want in life. We'll talk about that in another video. But now, moving on to this morning, I like to watch YouTube while I'm getting ready for work in the morning. Like, I really prop my phone in the shower in a little shower thing. In a little shower thing, you know, the shower caddy. I prop my phone up with YouTube, and I'll be watching my little YouTube videos. And one of the videos... I've been looking through my YouTube. I'm looking for new people to follow. I'm looking to see who is in a new city that I'm moving to. Well, it's not new to me, but I'm looking to see who's in the city that I'm moving to, to see who I can link up with, who I can do a collab with, all those type things. So again, if you are interested in any of that stuff, um, I'm gonna be looking specifically in ATL, Florida, um, I guess up here, Philadelphia. Leave your information down below in the comment or send me an um, a inbox. Send me an email and let me know if you want to do, if you're interested in any of that stuff. But, um, so I came across this one girl and I was like, hmm, let me go see where she at. Of course, she happened to be in ATL. And why did I click on it? I think she said something about her waist training or her, or, or her waist. So, said something about her waist and how she was going back to her waist training because her stomach was poking out, all this other stuff. Now, I'm going to do another video on this. I know that's like five different videos I just said I have to do. But I was like, you know what? Let me pull my waist trainers back out the closet. I have two latex. Wait, are they considered latex? Rubber? I call them rubber. <laughs> I got two of the regular stretch ones that you see everybody in the bandwagon wearing. You know, those ones that you can't adjust. They just go on and they just hold you in place. And then I also have, I actually had two. I think my aunt stole the other one, but it was too big for me anyway. I actually, I have um, still boned lace up corset the real corset so today i did to put on my latex one my um i think this is the active band workout i have a, the blue one and the black one i think the blue one is for active and the black one is just regular wear. i don't know but i got on the blue one and whoo usually i was able to get this thing on two notches not today y'all this thing only went to notch one <laughs> what did you staring at sir Yes, I'm recording in my car, sir. Mind your business. But, yeah, this thing is snug, honey. But it feels good to be back in it. But the only thing is I know within about an hour or so, I'm going to start itching. Because that's what it used to do. That's what these things do to me. They make me itch. Ugh. But now that I've gotten through my whole list of everything that I said I wanted to talk about. My whole list of everything that I said I wanted to talk about this morning. I'm about to get out of here and go back inside. Because I put a pile of oatmeal on before I came back out to the car record. And I want to make sure I'm not burning down the house. And parents, stop giving your kids these McDonald's because ain't no reason why this girl's titties should be this big. Mm -mm. Anywho, if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you liked what I had to say or if you liked any of the, yeah, just anything I had to say. Thumbs up, subscribe, share. Was that Christine? I think that was my client's daughter, my client's other daughter. Um, share it out if you think that you know somebody else that might be interested in joining that 30 day, 30 day, whatever that 30 challenge is. Or if you know somebody that wants to collab. And then, um, anywhere you need to find me, it's going to be linked down in the description box. Any info that you need to know, any links that you need, everything is going to be down in the description box. So make sure that you check that out first. Before you go leaving any comments asking me questions that I may have already addressed either in this video or down below. Okay? And I'm going to talk to you guys later. I don't know if I'm going to come back and record something later on tonight or not. Um, oh, do y'all think that I should do my daily vlogs based on my entire day? Like morning to end? Or is this just me getting on and vlogging in the morning about whatever it is I was thinking about before suffice? What do you think? Because, like I said, I don't do anything. So, if I record for a whole day, y'all going to be sitting with me at work. Bored out your mind for 10 hours. Okay, y'all not going to be on here for 10 hours. But, you going to be sitting with me at work. And then you, I'm going to leave work and then I'm going to go to the next work. And y'all going to just be bored. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, what I should do. Alright, I'm going to talk to y'all later.